This is going to be canning 101. So basically, you have your can right here, your canner pot set up. The first thing I've done is cleaned it out inside. That's some hard water stains in the bottom. That's okay. And then you add in three quarts of water into the bottom of the pot. You cover it up and you set your heat on low. All right, the first step in um, getting your jars ready is cleaning them up, and I'm going to let my mom explain that process to you. Well, these jars were put up last year. We they, These are being reused. They were put up last year. We washed them, rinsed them, dried them, put them away, and under cover. But even though the jars are clean, what you say clean, you could rinse out, I suppose. I still put them back through a hot, soapy water and make sure that they're clean. At that time, it's a good time to check for like, any cracks or... or edges chips around the rim and look and make sure that your jar doesn't have any cracks in it because when it's under pressure or in that boiling water bath whichever you're doing this jar will fail on you and then you'll lose product so that's the time that you check your jar the next step in this process is you have to heat up the rings and lids it's a good idea right then to match them up and lay them in there so that they're easier to put onto the jars when it comes time to put the food product in there and can it up. This is the speckled butter beans right here. We brought them to a bowl and now we're letting them expand and I'll come back. We're going to show y'all how to uh, put them in the jars the correct way. Alright guys, so this next step is putting the product into the jars. What she's doing right now is using a canning funnel specifically designed to get the product in the jar without spilling any of it. And those beans are boiling hot, so if you do this at this stage, you want to watch out and be very careful not to burn yourself. She's holding the jar by the top of the lid up there so that there's no chance of it burning her hands. And now she's going to move on to another jar. Over here we have several jars that's already been loaded. The next step is to wipe off the lid with some vinegar to make sure it's clean, to remove any fingerprints, oil, anything that can contaminate the seal because actually when you put the jar inside of the pressure cooker, that's when the seal happens. In each jar, you want to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. See, we need to stop cooking it because it's cooked ketchup. Then fill it in with the boiling water. Clean it now. One inch below the lid because what you want to do is make sure you cover up all the beans and they're so none of them dries out we took these paper towels right here we cut them up into little squares we soaked them in vinegar right there on this little plate here and that's what we're going to use to clean the jars with now here she goes to clean the jars so when you got to do it go ahead there baby You want to wipe all the way around the lid, making sure that your fingers, no oils, touch it. You have to be especially careful if you're doing tomatoes because or anything that has any kind of olive oils or oils in it. Oils are not your friend when they're on the outside of the jar lid or the jar. That can cause a problem with sealing and um, you basically you'll be having burnt food. Now we're going to show you putting the lid on and ring onto the jar. And let's see how much comedy is involved in this because we have been dropping them and having to clean them. My mom has had butter fingers lately. So here's the jar right here. And uh, my beautiful wife is going to screw this on there. And um, you just want to make sure that it's screwed down evenly. And you want to get it pretty tight, not too tight. Here at the canning set up now, and I'm going to show you how it goes. All right, remove the lid there, Dad. Now, you'll see this water is hot and steaming. I don't know if you can see the steam rising up off of it or not in the video. Sorry about the loud noise. That's an outdoor air conditioner going. He's going to put the jars into the pot. This pot right here will hold seven jars, and it's a twin sister sitting right beside it there. It holds seven more. You gotta be very careful when you're putting these jars in here because everything is scalding hot. The only thing that isn't hot is the lids and the rings. But everything else is at a bowl at this point. Almost to a bowl anyway. 
All right, all the jars are set in now, and you can see how that looks. The next step, coming up. So now we're putting the lid on. You want to make sure that you get it locked in correctly. You need a light. All right, in comes the Quark Pro to save the day. Line up these little notches right here. I don't know if I got too much light in there, you can see or not. All right, and then she'll lock down. Now it's locked in. The next step, turn up more heat. turn the heat from low to high heat. That's when steam starts coming out, then you put your weight on there. And for these beans we're doing, it's a 10 pound weight. This here pressure gauge right here will raise up to 10 pounds, letting you know that it's time to start, and you're going to run these for 50 minutes. That'll pop up. This here thing will pop up also to indicate that the pressure has been reached.